Let's review yesterday's Bible lesson. How does this picture remind you of when the disciples were fishing? Yeah, they were fishing at nighttime, but there was a problem. How many fish had they caught? Zero. They had not caught any fish. And instead of staying night, like every day, here comes the sun. The sun's coming up and they see somebody on the shore. Early in the morning, who did they see? Yeah, it was Jesus. But at first, they did not know who the man on shore was. Jesus was on the shore. And what did he tell the disciples to do? said, throw your nets on the right side of the boat, and there you're going to find some fish. What happened when they did what Jesus said? Yeah, their nets were so full of fish, so full of fish that they couldn't even get them inside of the boat. Then John knew that the man on shore was really Jesus. Only Jesus could have given them that many fish in their nets that he was true god he had power over the wildlife he was able to fill their nets up jesus loved his disciples so much and he wanted their faith in him to be strong they had been nervous and scared about what was going on and did not really understand how jesus had risen for them jesus is trying to strengthen their faith Think back to yesterday. I had a jump rope and a pillow and a pepper. And those things were all things that I would use to help keep my body healthy and strong. Let's think about our faith and how we keep our faith healthy and strong. If I'm only going to use my crayons and my candy and my toys, my body is not going to stay strong. We have something special, different than some of the images I showed yesterday. We have God's word and God gives us his word in the Bible. He uses his word to teach us that Jesus died to take away our sins and rose again from the dead. God also uses his word to strengthen our faith. When we hear God's word, the Holy Spirit works in our hearts to make our faith grow. He strengthens us. I don't jump rope or eat really healthy or get enough rest to keep my faith strong. I have to be in God's word and spend time with him. What happens if I only eat candy and play with my toys and I lay around in color? What's going to happen to my body or my muscles? They're not going to be as strong. They're going to get weak. I need to take care of my body. And that means doing things like jump roping, eating right, and exercising, getting enough rest. If I don't do those things to my body, my body gets weak. If I stop hearing about God's word, that same thing can happen to my faith. My faith can grow weak. God uses his word to keep our faith strong. We pray to him to strengthen our faith in our Savior as we hear his word. Let's do that now together. Please fold your hands. Dear God, thank you for giving us your word and the good news that Jesus has saved us from our sins. Work in our hearts as we hear your word to strengthen our faith in our risen Savior. Help us use the joy of Jesus risen to share that news with other people. May our thoughts, words, and actions bring glory and honor to you. Amen.